Oh, Bonnie, it is a delight to be back with you again uh, after seven months, Bonnie. Oh, yes, yes, seven yes. months since we've seen each other. Yes, yes, we're having a wild reunion just on the on the video, but it's late. You know, you're three hours ahead of me. Uh, it is um, goodness. It's nine thirty for you, so we've just got to start. Everybody, fasten your seatbelt. Uh, Stephen is back. Uh, we have, um, you know, here in the Northwest, we have all the volcanoes here are filling with magma, all of them. We are ready to slip into the ocean. Rainier, Adams, Baker, St. Helens, Hood, Crater Lake, Mammoth is constantly shaking. The magma is rising in Mammoth. We have a, a financial reset. We have digital currency soon. Uh, the globalists are asking the Bank of, of, of England, are they ready to uh, go into negative interest rates? Uh, so, you know, everything is coming uh, to one place here, and uh, the globalists, I think, are ready to make their, their um, final play. With that being said, Stephen, let's go where you want to go. Oh, wow, Bonnie, you actually set a beautiful, beautiful stage already. And uh, one thing I can share with people that I think will be a really a blessing, and that is what you're talking about, all the movement uh, that is going on on the planet right now is absolutely correct. I mean, we're seeing it. There's one video, I actually have it up on the screen on my channel here right now, Dutch Sense. A uh, good friend of mine, Johnny Brown, had sent this to me originally, I guess, or showed me about this guy, how he's always following these earthquakes and the movements yes. and things. And and uh, and I'll tell you, Bonnie, the guy is so accurate. But yes, he is. What's really alarming, though, is that um, I had uh, recently uh have been contacted by sources that I have in the Pentagon as well as in FEMA. And I have a good friend of mine. He's an engineer with FEMA. And so he really, and he's got a very, very well-informed source as well, deeper in the government. But FEMA, I'll start off with this. FEMA has been fully activated. Uh, they're setting up. They have had meetings recently discussing, uh, let me stop just for a moment, Bonnie, let me say one thing. The sources that I do have are all believers. And even though they may not agree with what's going on in their respective branches of the government, they want people to know what's going on. And I, I feel I need to say that, Bonnie, because sometimes you think, oh my gosh, FEMA, oh, the crooked, horrible FEMA. Well, the, the people I know know this. They know that, but there's still, there's some people in there that are good people that, 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 you know, they know what's going on. And so they're willing to share and expose the things that are happening. So, I'm sure they might be staying there so they can tell people. And that may be the case as well, Bonnie. I know the engineer I know uh, really has been a wealth of information. And what's very unique is the information normally just dovetails right there uh, with the information that I get from um, uh, people in the Pentagon. And I've got yeah. multiple sources through the Pentagon. So some of the things I'm going to be saying tonight, I may not be able to say where it's from because it's that sensitive of information on in some cases. But this is all dealing with what's going on. The earth is shifting. Uh, and it is literally being caused from the fact that the earth is, 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 a, is absorbing a tremendous amount of energy. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit later, but let me first back up to the FEMA uh, engineer that I'm a good friend with. He clearly told me that they've activated FEMA. Uh, they, they're expecting a massive, uh, uh, I, the way he said it to me, they are being told and prepared, and they brought in the high-ranking people in FEMA, reconfirming their commitment to what they do. They said because they're about to face a catastrophic, uh, as they call it, weather or uh, earth-related event 
that will bring about a mass loss of life. Do you think that is um, uh, the uh, 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 what's happening subterranean? I know that this uh, planetary system, this planet X system, is ex exuding tremendous amounts of UV, gamma, X-ray, uh, electromagnetic, all kinds of radiation, and we're absorbing it through our poles. Well, so it's there is it's a, it's all right. Yeah. You're 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 really on on a great line with all this, Bonnie, and what you're saying there. Uh, so let me kind of break down, and then I'll come back to my FEMA source in a little bit. Um, some of the things I'm going to say now, I can't say how I know these things, and and it's mainly I have to say this because I have to protect certain uh, individuals because the information that is shared with me. And maybe it wouldn't matter in this case if I said what agency they're with, but I feel like maybe I shouldn't at this point here. Sure. I've, yes. known, I've known now for some time. I mean, it was revealed to me back in March that uh, it was shared then, and I, and I still have the email. Most of the information that I deal with, though, is done through secure means. We don't speak through emails. We don't speak through telephones. We use secure communications to where it cannot be traced or listened to. Uh, but back in March, I was told there's going we're going to see a lot of catastrophic events that are going to happen, mostly with weather-related events. Uh, I said I was told then that there would be storms across Northwest that would be in, uh, with winds of uh, excess of 100 miles an hour. I was told I was specifically told Nebraska would be one of those states where these winds would be that great. Uh, since all this, we've seen two what they call derecho storms. Both storms had over 100 mile an hour winds. I think the first one was 110, the second one 100 miles an hour, uh, one point that 140 mile an hour gust. And in the second storm, I know there were 40 tractor trailers overturned, and I forget even much higher number of tractor trailers were overturned from those storms there. Uh, then I was also told at that time that uh, that we're going to see hurricanes. We would have record-breaking uh, season, a very unusual amount of number of hurricanes. That has also been another thing that we have actually watched come to pass. But then I was told that come September, the world would know that we are in serious trouble. Uh, but I was also told, though, that the storms would really begin to see the uptick on that in uh, sometime between uh, June and July. One thing I did notice, though, is that the source that I had to give me this information, he was off about a month or two on all the information. So I've been seeing everything has been coming like a month or two months later. Uh, he spoke about asteroids, but he never said that the asteroids would be what would be the big issue come September, that we're in big trouble. Um, but at any rate, what, what has happened, though, even in September and stuff, uh, because I did go back and because I both my FEMA source and a source I had two sources I had in the Pentagon were confirming that you know we're going to see rocks coming in on the earth, but in clarification with all of them, they they have gone back and they re, -ed, re edify or re spoke about that and said that you have to remember in the beginning it's just small, and even then it's not like there is a lot, but over the course of the next two years, they would increase more and more. Um, and what was interesting is on September 30th, we had a we had one that was caught on cam camera up in Chicago area. Then another one came in the following day that was caught on camera, pretty good size one. Then I got an email. Somebody sent me one from Mexico, and my wife and and daughter coming in, and as well my son, they were all out this evening. They saw one uh, as they came into the house here in Orlando. Uh, yeah. So. You know, he said they're all small right now. He said most of them are just going to burn up in the atmosphere. So that's not that big of a deal. But here comes the problem, Bonnie. Of course, I was also told back then we were going to start seeing earthquakes and volcanoes as well going off, things like you've never seen before. All right. Now, here we are. It's October. It's a month later than what he told me. But people are starting to realize we're in serious trouble. But now I want to explain what's really going on. This is what people don't understand. There's a reason for all these events happening. And you mentioned it a moment ago, uh, talking about the, the, the poles and stuff. But the way it was explained to me, the Earth is absorbing a tremendous amount of energy. And there's two places that energy is coming from. It's coming from the solar minimum is one. 
And the other one is, it's coming from what they call a debris cloud. Uh, and the debris cloud is emitting a tremendous amount of radiation. Uh, I was told that we entered into that cloud in June of this year, I think June 15th or June 20th, I forget which date it was, that they said we entered into that cloud. And you have to understand, the one source that, that explained what I'm about to tell you now is a scientist. And he is also works for the government. Uh, and there are... I'm dealing with two different, I'm going to kind of put this together from two different aspects because I know two different aspects of this of the scientists that are involved, scientists, engineers, etc. But what I was explained to, that was told to me last night is reminding me about how the earth is absorbing all this energy. And so what happens is because of the absorption of this tremendous amount of energy, it's heating the core of the earth up. And, and I even said this back in March. I told people back in March that this, this events were happening then. The earth can't handle that much pressure, though. And because of that energy that's being absorbed, and our oceans are able to absorb a lot of the energy in itself, it's come to a boiling point. And what's happening is now the crust of the earth is beginning to move. The government is going into an emergency state right now, but it's not being told to the people. Back in March, Bonnie, or no, actually back in February, I was told that things are going to really escalate. They didn't know at that time when. I was told back in January could be anywhere from six months to a year and a half. And I was told at that time as well, when things get really bad, the government is going to do a two-week internal notice, Internal notice, but the, the American people would only get about a 24 to 48-hour window of knowing what's going to really happen. But I also was told that it would more than likely be leaked out before that time. So what I'm about to tell you, I don't know if I can say this is that leaking information, I don't think it's the big thing. I think this is just the beginning. But as I was told right now, um, the government is like in an emergency state right now because of all the shifting going on. We have the, we have the um, uh, what do they call that? The one up there by you, Bonnie, uh, that's called the... Rainier? Uh, the, no, Cascadia. Cascadia oh, okay. is shifting. Uh, the New Madrid is shifting. Uh, last night, and normally we don't correspond by email, but I got an email and I was told that uh, now everything has come to life as well in Indonesia, Japan, the Philippines, all the crust there is shifting as well. Now, I was told though, because of the fact so much of the Earth's crust is shifting and moving, it would help to displace the magnitude of of a monster earthquake. Uh, so that's a good thing in a way, but it's not going to be what's going to be the worst. Uh, the, the, I was told there is a 70%, right now the government is anticipating 70% or greater probability of a massive earthquake as a result of what's going on uh, with everything shifting the way it is. And it's going to just catch everybody off guard. Uh, both uh, sources that I know in the Pentagon as well as in uh, FEMA and FEMA sources, and I'm not sure where their source is from, but they're, they're looking at any, you know, it could be weeks and even months before this major event takes place as far as the earthquake. Now, I've not been told that the New Madrid is going to literally crack and separate the earth as far as like what we see like in John Moore's map that he released years ago, uh, but that we could see some very massive quakes. But the big problem was, Bonnie, is that as this, as the shifting is going on, one of the biggest things that's going to happen is the earth is going to release the energy that it, that it is built up from all the radiation and stuff that it's being bombarded with and it will release it up into the ionosphere. Now, that's where the situation gets very bad. The ionosphere has got thin spots in it, and that energy will go towards, it will gravitate 
towards the thinner layers of the ionosphere. And as I was told, the ionosphere then will help, it will kind of thicken itself up to protect itself. But then what it will do at that point there is that it will release the energy in the form of uh, plasma lightning back to the earth. But as it was explained to me by the scientists that, that uh, wrote these details to me, this plasma lightning is not uh, millions of volts of electricity, but in the trillions of volts. In other words, as it was said to me, that discharge of plasma lightning will be so massive that it could literally knock a hole into the Earth's crust and go clear to the mantle. That's how dangerous it is. Wow. Uh, now, Do you see anything in Revelation that mimics that? <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that. I've been thinking of these things, but I've been so caught up in everything that's yeah. going on. I haven't actually gone and really... Checked out Re uh, Revelation. Exactly. Of course, you know, we have the thunders, uh, which uh, and Yeshua told John not to write them. So there's a whole set of stuff there that, you know, we're not being told. I think it's because... You know, we've already been taken to the safe place, <laughs> prepared for her for three and a half years in the desert. Uh, but um, uh, do you think that this debris cloud could be part and parcel of the incoming planetary system, Planet X? Because that also it is, uh, is uh, it, uh, magnetically charged. And as it came through the debris field, it attracted all kinds of, um, uh, you know, asteroids both yeah. before and after it so could it be could it be related to that i mean you can look up in the sky and see that there are things around the sun that never used to be there yeah well, Is that here, part? all right here's here's what's interesting i know uh scott sion has um uh, and Scott, I, I got a chance to meet with Scott, talk to him. We had him on our program. And Scott has been showing what he believes to be Planet X uh, caught into the orbit of the sun. And he believes it already came in. And uh, so I wanted to be able to share his information with our audience as well on Israeli News Live. Uh, mm -hmm. But when I talked to the folks there at the Pentagon about, uh, about that, uh, they said as much as they appreciate the scientific background of his wife and things, they believe that he is misinformed. Uh, and they said that Planet X is coming. And for the first time, I actually was given a more uh, definitive time frame of when Planet X would come through. And that, yes, the debris field that we are seeing, Bonnie, right now is part uh, of the Planet X system. As, yeah. as it was described to me, you have to imagine the Planet X system kind of like a hurricane. They said, if you think yep. of it in, the, in relations to a hurricane, it's got it's got outer bands, inner bands, and then finally into the center where the core of that is. Uh, I was told that the planet itself and its constellation that's coming through our solar system is a, is about a little over two years away. Uh, but when it comes through, that will be when we really see. Uh, like what we're yes. seeing now is really nothing. But when that comes through, I was told the Earth would literally flip. Uh, yes. That's how that's how uh, powerful the gravitational pour, uh, pull of this iron core is, and and you know too, Bonnie. I mean, this a lot of the flat Earth community is really not happy with me about some of the things I've been reporting on uh, because they don't believe in these things. They don't believe in asteroids and and uh, meteorites and things like that. And uh, you know, so I've I mean, been uh, the trumpets people. are asteroids. Oh, there you go. A mountain out of the sky? Exactly. And this was my whole point. Biblically, we have yeah. Revelation, what is it, 16, I believe. Uh, we, we, we see that we have uh, stones, trumpets. the weight of a talent and stuff. You got the trumpets. You got, I mean, all these things. That's right. It opens the abyss. It pounds through the mantle and opens the abyss underneath and releases the demon. So, you know, I think you should just turn a deaf ear. <laughs> I think well, you just turn, turn a deaf ear to them. Well, I tell you, Bonnie, the one thing that was really interesting, because I, my heart goes out to anybody that would be caught off guard. And I remember saying, because somebody had made a comment one day, and they said, 
Well, you know, if anything, it's just part of the, the, the firmament breaking apart and falling down. So I just, I, I went on the air and I said, look, if that makes you feel fuzzy inside and makes you feel better about it, then whatever it will do to help you to, 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 to think about what I'm saying and get your life in order and be prayed, prayed up and ready for, for you know, for, for the Lord, then okay, right. I don't care. If you think it's a firmament breaking apart and falling down, and that's what's causing it, okay with me. Don't make any difference. It's just, I care about humanity and I don't want to see people, you know, right. not ready when the Lord, when his timing is for, for, for his return. Uh, so that's why I kind of kind of get going with that. But but at any rate, yes. So we are looking at a couple of years still out for, for that, but we are seeing the outer effects already and uh, and all these underground bunkers that have been built, Bonnie, I've been told yes. they are now concerned of their own survivability. And they, 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 they because everything's heating up, they said they don't even know if their cooling systems could keep the, uh, the you know, because normally when you're in the earth, you got that constant temperature. Well, the temperature's rising now. So yep. there's a lot of fear. And of course, we know what the Bible says about that. They'd be in the earth and they'd cry for the mountains and rocks to fall upon them. Hide us from him, from him that is to come. So I thank God for what's coming. You know, I feel like it's judgment uh, on all the wickedness that's happening here on the earth. So, Absolutely. you know, so it's, it's a good thing as well. And uh, so that's kind of interesting. But going back to the things though, that there's, I want to share with people some more deeper things uh, because I know, you know, Bonnie, sometimes everybody's like, oh my gosh, Steve, it's just all gloom and doom. And, you know, and, and what happened to you? I guess, you know, Bonnie, the thing is you want people to, you just want people's lives in, in order. You That's know, right. you want them to be saved. Yes. A uh, Yeshua's uh, sacrifice uh, was so precious don't waste it, everybody. That's right. And you know, if you if you don't, if we don't uh, um, uh, uh, say what we know, then you know the blood might be on our hands. So exactly. Hey, speak away, brother. That's exactly right. And I think about and I think to myself, look, I mean, you read Matthew twenty four, and Jesus tells you that there's going to be uh, earthquakes in diverse places. There's going to be famines, wars, and rumors of wars, and I mean, everything is like a doom and gloom of what's coming, you know? I mean, he even goes on to say, it'll be like it was in the days of Enoch, uh, you know? That's right, days so, of Noah. It's going to be evil continually. Stuff is falling from the sun, sky. That's but right. we get to see the face of our Redeemer. That is so happy. Yes, yes, amen, amen. So that's my purpose, I guess, is, you know, because in reality, there is no safe place you can go except in Jesus Christ. In Yeshua is the only place you're going to be safe. You're not going to be safe. You know, I mean, I chose to go to Tennessee and it had to do with not because of asteroids or anything. I wanted to go to Tennessee and get relocated there because I didn't like the COVID garbage going on uh, and the, the possible forced uh, you know, if they plan on forcing vaccinations and stuff, this was our initial purpose for, for getting out of Dodge here. Uh, and of course, just being as remote as you could get. All right. But getting back on track, I want to get back on track with this. Um, because of everything going on and the information that was shared with me, I made a phone call last night to try to get some clarification from another scientific perspective um, because we're talking about plasma lightning. And so I knew an individual that I could speak to that would know just how serious this is and what we're facing. And so uh, as I begin to look at that, I said to myself, all right, I'm going to call this individual here. We got on the phone and we began to, to discuss the information that I had that I was aware of. And uh, and I don't know, Bonnie, we may need to catch this on the on the other side. Are we getting on the closer? other side? On the, are we getting okay. closer? To time? All right, we're at 24, lengthy. 48, 49, 50. <laughs> there right. we go. All right, stay with us, folks, please. Uh, and see us on the other side.
Welcome back, everyone, for the second half. Okay, uh, we were on the verge of getting some really good information, Stephen. So, yeah. Yes. Please continue. All right, so we'll get back into this right here. So, and, and I'm a little bit slow on presenting this one here because I've got to be very cautious in what I say because now we're going to be getting into some very, very um, sensitive areas here. Uh, so I wanted to understand from uh, an engineer friend of mine this issue when it comes to the plasma. And, uh, and of course, I don't know if there's any images. I, I even have like an image on my screen right now just shows lightning and stuff. I don't think there is any good image that tells you what plasma bolt will look like coming down out of the sky. I uh, wouldn't want to see it either. But I said, you know, is there any way to protect against something like this? I mean, you know, lightning strikes, I know they make, uh, they make different uh, gadgets that help protect against lightning, uh, even electric magnetic pulse. You can get a device that will protect uh, your home and things from that. But what about plasma lightning? Because we're talking, you know, literally, as I was told, trillions of volts. And... This particular friend of mine, who's an engineer, shared with me that right now, some other top engineers in the Pentagon were working on that particular type of device. And I said, no way. And he told me, he said, I know, Steve, it sounds crazy. He said, in fact, I had no idea why. I just know that we've been involved in building uh, some particular devices, and we were also working with some outsourcing from the Pentagon uh, with some other engineers who have the brilliant minds to be able to protect against something that he said, and it was really weird. He said it, made, it didn't make any sense to me. Why would we be working on something that could withstand the massive electrical discharge is what we were working on. and But it was to protect this specific base. Uh, I can't discuss that, uh, what base it is, but it was there's certain assets in the government that they needed to protect that, that had more precedence than any other places in the government. And when I explained to him what I knew, that uh, other in fact, I guess if he went down the hallway, maybe he would know who I'm talking about, but I never disclosed from one to the other who's who. Uh, you know, that they were talking about the Earth absorbing all this this tremendous energy and that it's going to be released into the ionosphere and then end up coming back and hitting the Earth with trillions of volts of electricity called plasma lightning. And of course, any, you know, it's like the lights went off in his head. He's like, that's it. That's why we're doing it. He said, you know, the funny thing is, he said, not everybody shares with the next person what you're doing it for. But he said, that's what we were developing uh, is to be able to handle that type of voltage. Uh, so he said, in, in short, for the public, no. Uh, he said, I'll have to tell you, Steve, he said, what would happen under a plasma strike is that, for example, if it struck from me about a half mile down the road, uh, my house would be uh, nothing but glass. Uh, he said everything would melt instantly from that type of lightning strike. He said it, it takes a huge radius. And uh, he said, yes, I do. And I have heard that it would bust the, the earth open wide. And he said there's no telling what that will cause as well. Um, and being that on that note there, Bonnie, uh, I know... This all got kind of started, too, by the way, for me, because uh, I know that Adam on um, our Fugal News, he had posted on Twitter about Chinese troops up in, uh, or no, I'm sorry, he had posted about uh, U.S. troops being moved out west. And that they were told that they were going to be in part of a drill, but the, the troops that he knew about were saying to him, no, it's not a drill. We feel like this is really for real, but they weren't being told what they're facing with. And that's how I got into this whole issue about what's going on, because I reached out to some friends that I knew in the Pentagon and I asked them, you know, is it true we're moving troops out west? And uh, they said, yes, it is. And I said, 
Is it because we got the Chinese on the northern border side? And uh, I was told at that point there, not directly, uh, it was actually because they are anticipating catastrophic events that are going to happen to the United States. Uh, now, as a result, though, Bonnie, and as a result of what's about to happen in November, there is a strong possibility that we're going to be invaded not long thereafter. And when I say yeah. not long thereafter, uh, that may be months. Uh, it may be longer. And it has been confirmed to me as well. There is a tremendous, and this is from the FEMA side of things. Uh, there is, uh, and that's not through FEMA itself, but through my FEMA source, it has also inside information that's kind of like with mine, it goes pretty high up, that there's a great concern of war breaking out between the U.S. and other nations, i.e. I. China. Um, and you have to understand, this is what's going to be very disconcerting for a lot of people. China and Israel are working very closely together. Um, well, doesn't Israel want to bring this country down? Yes, they do. Yes, they do, Bonnie. And that's what's yeah. really sad. There are thousands of troops on Vancouver Island. Uh, Canadians are posting videos online. Yes. Uh, that's very sad. Now, and another thing, too, I uh, this is going to shock a lot of people. I had been told quite some time now that Israel is getting ready to reveal her Messiah. And you have to understand, Bonnie, in, in the Jewish belief, they it's not like what a, a believer, a, a Christian is. We know, for example, the son of David, which we all know is Yeshua. We know it's Jesus Christ. We know he's the Messiah. Um, in Jewish belief, and they really take this from the idea of Daniel because they see that the Messiah is to be cut off. So they know that, that he has to die. So they believe in what they call two Messiahs. There's the Josephic Messiah, as they call it, and the, and the Davidic Messiah. So it's uh, Moshiach ben David and Moshiach ben Yosef. Moshiach ben Yosef, in their mind, is a is a anointed individual that fights Israel's battles, defeats the the uh, the evil of the evil foes of Israel, i.e. in this case Iran, but will also hand them the third temple. There has been several rabbis that have su suggested that Donald Trump is very good candidate for that. As they've also pointed out in the Gematria, his uh, name is the same uh, value as Moshiach. Uh, I used to think that was kind of far-fetched. And I know that the Israeli government just released a documentary where there's a man, his name is uh, Israel David Cohen, who's uh, a, currently a psychiatric patient. He was actually a former commander in the Israeli Navy, and he's proclaiming to be the Messiah of Israel. He's a former psychiatric He's still, he's still a psychiatric patient. Suicide. Uh, and I see. So, and he claims, you know, that, you know, he said, I hear voices. But he said, the voices have told me that I am the, uh, the, the King Messiah of Israel. Mm. But then I discovered something, Bonnie, that was very troubling. And it's part of what we have been hearing for a long time. Uh, that there was some people speculating that Trump converted to Judaism back in 2017. Yeah. Well, I found out that is true. Yeah. Trump is not a Christian. Trump no. did convert to Judaism. And, and that's why he can abide uh, NAR. Uh, it, but he, he has a grandparent heritage in Judaism or Jewish people, doesn't he? He does, and they yeah. have done a lot of extensive research on him, and they believe that he comes from the Lost Tribes of Israel, uh, going back on his uh, uh, side, I don't know if it's paternal or father or whatever, but uh, in Scotland. So, they, so he could easily be Messiah ben Yosef. This is exactly what I think that they're grooming him for. And of course, so when the, he's making the Abrahamic Accord, he is he is the Messiah of Daniel 9? 
I think that's the way they're going to put him. This is them playing out the script for the world. The big part is going to be when he delivers Iran for them and also delivers the building of the third temple. And uh, when he is, and the, when they pretend he is shot on the world screen and they secret him away, as you have said, and then he reappears, is that the wound that is healed? That's a good question. And I don't know exactly how uh, they will fake his departing. I have been told that they're going to make it look like something happens to him and that he will reemerge later down the road. Um, there are Christians that have had dreams that they see it on the television set. It's horrible. He's uh, on stage giving a speech and he is shot. Mm -hmm. I mean, how traumatizing for the people. Sure it would be. I mean, but that's what they want to do. Look at 9-11. That was all for trauma. And they played it again and again and again for a week. <laughs> like, oh, you didn't see it the first 25 times? Well, we'll play it another 25 times. Um, so, uh, Stephen, that's really bizarre. It is. And the thing is, is that uh, it's not only that, you know, look when he went into the hospital and he was declared to be COVID positive. Yeah. All right. My own doctor calls me up and he's like, this has got to be the biggest hoax I've ever saw. Yep. He yep, said, for yep. one, he said he's asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. He said, okay, they say claim he's COVID positive. He said he's not showing any problems. He said, why would you whisk the man away to the hospital when he's got perfectly good staff, medical staff at the White House? He yeah. said, no telling what they're going to pump into him. And then you we think find. He's taken something like a oh, chip or something? To, they they to, gave him a. They give him. You know, he talked about he had this miracle drug, had to be from God. Well, I just happened to listen to a video today, and I didn't get to finish the full video as of yet, but uh, it's actually called Trump's Gift of Human Fetal and Mouse BLT uh, by. And I don't even know who the, who the guy's. Uh, I don't know the guy that actually put the video out, but I was listening to it, and. Uh, and he gives a he gives a complete breakdown of what was in this concoction that he's given, and it does include human fetal tissue, some type of uh, mouse that has been uh, been changed over uh, into something else. Uh, only you know it's like a genetically modified mouse, and this is what they're pumping into the president. Is it injected? Was it injected? I don't know if it's injected pill form or whatever. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I have not seen that part yet. I do know, though, that uh, my own doctor said that after this happened with the president and he said he came back to the White House and he goes up the, the steps, he said if he had COVID, he said coronavirus, you know, of course, he'll tell you coronavirus has been around for years. It's not some novel virus, but he did say if he had it, it's respiratory. He said he wouldn't be going up the steps to the White House like that with no problem. He'd be struggling to catch his breath. Yeah, and if he tried to recuperate from the assault on his body. Exactly. And then the other thing, Bonnie, that he was really troubled about, this is my doctor, you know, he said, Stephen, he said, then they're telling, they're telling us, you know, they're telling the American public, oh, half of his administration is positive. And, and then the next thing you know, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, so many of them are testing positive. Yeah. He said, wait a minute. He said, do they think that doctors are just that stupid to believe what they're telling? He said, maybe the American public doesn't understand viruses. He said, but viruses take time to go from one individual to another. It's not like you're going to test the entire staff and everybody tests positive. He said, yeah, the president could be positive, but then maybe a week later, another one's positive. Another week later, another one's positive. Or you might even get two or three after a week or so or two weeks or so, but not like this. He said, this is, he said, I'm a doctor, Steve. He said, I'm not here to say that Corona is not real. I'm just simply saying this is something is up. And I know yeah. that for a fact. So. But the doctors, you know, they try and put videos up on YouTube to tell the populace. They get taken down. They get banned. They get yes. strikes. They get removed. So, um, you know, unless your own personal position is, um, uh, uh, you know, on his toes, because certainly not all the doctors are out there saying that this is a hoax. I, I mean, I just rolled my eyes when I heard it. Um, but uh, the 
there, there's no platform except they go to, you know, Brighteon or Patreon or something like that. Exactly. Exactly, Bonnie. And then, like you said, when it comes to, I mean, to speak about these things and, 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 and to say, I mean, YouTube, we've had two strikes already. Yana's had two yep. strikes on her channel. One more strike and boom, we're off the air. Yep, uh, that's right. And they're looking to do that. Uh, yep, sure. They, they don't they don't want the truth out there. Uh, well, you have to come to HNR here. <laughs> that's exactly and, right. Uh, we'll, we'll get the truth out. Yes. We haven't, we haven't been found yet, I pray. Well, that that's just a godsend is what it is, Bonnie. Yes, because they, that's right. We can warn people. 